Yeah, well, welcome everybody. My name is Mandy Mubis, and um, I just wanted to give you a short impression about what student life is here and why I personally chose to study educational uh, science and technology here at the University of Twente. Um, a little bit about me. I started uh, here with a bachelor program in 2010. And uh, afterwards, I, well, as Tom told you, I already graduated three years ago from the master program. And of course, between those two moments, when I finished my bachelor and when I started the master, I had the choice to go somewhere else. And I considered that and looked at very different universities, both uh, in the Netherlands and outside of the Netherlands, and decided, well, where do I want to go? Do I want to stay here or do I want to go to another university to uh, do my master's program? And there are several reasons why I decided to stay here, actually. Um, first of all, well, most of them you already told uh, to, to you. But uh, what attracted me very much was that it's very small scale view. So as Tom told you, most of the classes are, well, up to 30 people, but most of my classes were much smaller. And we had some classes where you really sit in a group with 15 people. So we had a, a lot of discussion with people and you really interact with all people here. So not only in your program, but also with the teachers. Um, everyone knows your name, they know who you are. And if you meet them on campus, they know who you are, they know your name. And there's always a chance to, if you have a, if you have a question, if there's something that is not clear, if you uh, can't finish up your uh, assignments or something, you have questions about that, you can just walk here uh, through the halls, uh, knock on people's doors, and go there and ask your question. Maybe they do not have time at that very moment, but they're well, if it's a small question, they usually just answer it directly or tell you, well, send me an email, and within one day, you usually get an answer from your teachers. So it's very small scale, and you really have a lot of interaction with both other students and uh, the staff here, the educational staff. That's the first point. And also, um, I like it that there's a lot of uh, interaction with organizations and companies. I personally was very attracted to the HRD side of educational science and technology. So for me personally, it was very important that there were some contexts where I could already meet some organizations, and that is both schools and ministries, but also, of course, companies. And here they have a lot of contacts with uh, both local companies, but also companies all over the Netherlands, um, big consultancy firms, which attracted me very much. And they already know people in there, and if you want to do an internship, then they know people, and they you know, the uh, scientific staff here is really interested in helping students to find internships or to find projects and help you to get into those companies. And I thought that's very helpful because me personally, I don't know anyone here. So for me, it was very interesting that there were already some contacts which I could use as a student. And uh, also the possibility to shape the program, not only that you can choose your own electives, but also that after every course here, we have to fill in a form and tell people, well, how do we like our teacher? What was it look like? Did we find the topics interesting? Was the assignment too difficult? Stuff like that. And once every half a year, we all come together and discuss with our program to, um, coordinator what our findings are and what we thought of those different courses. And they not only take in all those information, but they actually also tell us well, students last year had that kind of feedback, so we changed the course in a certain direction. So it's not that you just do those evaluations, but they actually change the program. Of course, not everything, but in terms, um, they change the program to fit it to the students. And they really like our preferences and take our preferences into account with those different courses, which I found very nice and helpful because it's really a program suited to the students. And lastly, I really like the practical focus here because um, personally, I like reading, but I don't like to read all the time. And there's a lot of theory you can have, which is of course very interesting to see, but I like to do things in practice. So I like to have theories and use them and apply them. And for that, um, there's really a lot of opportunity here. And just to show you some examples, these are all things that I produced to <coughs> during the one year of my young master. Um, some of you, some of them have already been introduced. For example, this is the uh, consultancy report we did in the HRD and life context uh, class. So this, uh, for that we went to OC, which is a subsidiary of uh, Canon. We went there for one quarter, so about 10 weeks. 
and met with all different kinds of staff there. So uh, they make printers, and we went to the technicians, we went to HR uh, professionals in there, we talked to trainers, and we really invested uh, how self-directed learning works in that company. And afterwards, uh, we gave a presentation there, and we also handed in our report, of course. And they really were very interested in that. And at the moment, we are also in discussion still with them because we, um, one of our advisors was to have a day, a vision day on self-directed learning because we saw that there's a lot of different visions on self-directed learning and everyone has an opinion, but no one has the same opinion. So they're all very scattered in what they do there, though they all find it important. So we advised them to uh, have a vision day and we are still in discussion with our group that we're actually going to do that and uh, organize that for them and they will pay us as consultants to organize that day for them, which is very nice for us, of course, as students because we already have some context and we, well, we are actually consultants who do that for money, which is very cool, <laughs> I think. <laughs> and then another one which I like, it's also already in the sheets with the um, design and learning performance systems. That's actually more of an EDE class and for that we had to design a manual and we decided as a group to go to a local museum here, which uh, is for science and does a lot of courses with uh, students and children. And for them, we designed in eight weeks this great manual. You can have a look at it later on if you like to. It's in Dutch, but just have a look. And um, well, as Tom said, we uh, have a lot of contact with Hans, our advisor here at the university. And this is actually our fourth version of the manual. And we tested all the different versions with, uh, with kids at the uh, museum itself. And it's about um, how to use a telescope. So we uh, designed our own avatar, uh, Vainan the Wise Owl, we call it, which helps the, uh, the kids and motivates them to go on. And we actually went there to the museum and met some kids and we grabbed uh, nephews from one of our group mates because we didn't have any other children. And uh, they had to do this you know, several times and had to test our manual to actually see whether it works. And well, in the first version, for example, we forgot that we had to tell the kids that they had to switch on the light to use the telescope. So it all went downhill from there, <laughs> which is why it's always very important to test all your stuff. And this is what we made in 10 weeks and we're actually very proud and they too are using this at the moment at the museum here in the region. So as you can see, we develop a lot of stuff that is really used by people and that you really, although you are a student, you really come up with uh, things that is useful for professionals in their work, which is what attracted me very much because, well, as I said, theories, you know, theory is nice, but actually helping people and providing them with uh, materials and with results that they can apply was very important to me to motivate me. And I think, yeah, that's my part. So, mm -hmm. I give the words to my colleague. Mm -hmm. Hello. So, my name is Eva, and I'm a master's student uh, in the Educational Science and Technology program since February. But before this, I also attended the pre-master. I chose this program because it combines theory and practice and offers the opportunity to you to select courses from two different areas. And I was also very impressed with the campus of the university and the international atmosphere here. So about the pre-master. Uh, the pre-master is well organized and prepares you for the master. During the pre-master, you will improve your research skills and become familiar with designing for learning, and you will also work on your first cases. Uh, you're going to work a lot in teams, and it will help you adapt in the new environment. And from my experience, I can say that it is challenging, but definitely doable. For those who are going to follow the pre-master, I would suggest you to manage carefully your studying time and find a place where you like to study because here you have many options. Uh, work together and discuss with your fellow students and join different groups for your assignments. Uh, always be prepared before the lectures. And finally, join extra activities and associations like COMA and enjoy student life. Thank you. <laughs>